hello guys welcome back to electrical infinity i am back with a new video and this video is based on working of cooling tower so in this video i am going to explain you how this cooling tower work in hvac plants so here you can see this one is an internal diagram of a cooling tower and i am going to explain you the overall working of this cooling tower for cooling of water from the condenser so first of all here you can see this one is a motor and uh, this one is a fan which is operated by this motor this one is a sprinkler for sprinkling of water and a nozzle of these sprinklers this one is a pvc fillings yeah, this one is a mesh and here you can see this one is a sump and water, cool water is collected at the bottom of this cooling tower this one is an inlet for the water and this one is outlet for the water so let's begin the explanation of it here you can see this one is an inlet for the water so the hot water from the condenser passes through this inlet of the cooling tower and enter the sprinkles here you can see these are the sprinkles and and water gets sprayed from these sprinklers let's begin the explanation of it here you can see this one is an inlet and the hot water from the condenser passes through this inlet and enter the sprinklers so the water gets sprayed from these sprinklers as you can see here so the surface area of the water increases because of spraying and because of spraying there is a contact between air and water which led to good evaporation of a water after spraying of water water enter the pvc fillings here you can see these are the pvc filling and pvc fillings are similar to honeycombs and with the help of these pvc fillings water goes to the bottom of the cooling tower bottom of the cooling tower slowly and but not directly with the help of this uh, pvc fillings water does not goes quickly to the bottom of the cooling tower it goes slowly so that the water gets cool while coming down the hot water goes up and it comes down with the in decrease in the temperature of it at the same time here you can see this one is a motor and this one is a fan this fan is operated by the help of this motor so this fan takes the air from outside as you can see here here are the air inlets at the both side so this fan takes the air from the outside and passes the air through these pvc fillings pvc fillings as you can see here and the air goes out from the top of the cooling tower due to this good contact between air and water water gets cool and gets filled at the sump bottom of the tank here you can see the cool water is collected at the bottom of the tank and this one is called as sump the cool water this cool water from the outlet of the cooling tower is sent back to the condenser again here you can see this one is an eliminator and this eliminator stops the water from getting out of the cooling tower with air here you can see this one is a mesh and this mesh stops the dust entering the cooling tower water and act as a filter so this is how the cooling tower work water enters the inlet of this cooling tower hot water from the condenser enters the inlet of the cooling tower and after that it enters the sprinklers and with the help of nozzle the water is sprinkled and it gets in contact with the air which is coming from the out which is coming from the out the air comes from here this one is air inlet as you can see and the air comes out from here from the top of the cooling tower hence there will be a contact between the water and air which leads to the decrease in temperature of the water so water after getting the temperature decrease is collected at the bottom of the tank here this is called as sump and the water is collected at the bottom of the tank cool water is collected at the bottom of the tank this one is a pvc fillings and this one is a mesh for filtration and to avoid dust into the cooling tower from the outside so after the water is cooled it is collected at the bottom of the tank and it is sent to the outlet cool water from the outlet is sent to condenser and the refrigerant in condenser is cooled with the help of this cool water after that the cool refrigerant is sent to chiller and in this chiller the refrigerant cools down the hot water and this hot water after getting cooled down is sent to the uh, entire building for the cooling so this is how the cooling tower works friends hope you have uh, found this video very useful here are some of the advantages of the cooling tower yeah, so the cooling tower increases the efficiency of overall hvac plant as it uh, give us cooling with less maintenance it also require it uh, one of the major advantage of this cooling tower is it has less maintenance as it require less cleaning as we are using pvc mesh and filled eliminator here so it requires less maintenance and it has a longer life span 
it reduces cost it has a reduced cost because of the less maintenance and parts which are used in the cooling tower are not very expensive so these are the some advantages of the cooling tower hope you have liked this video and shared this video with your friends who are doing electrical infinity to learn electrical up to infinite hit the subscribe button thanks for watching